I'm here with Chrysalis Custom Hair, Chicago's wig boutique for women in cancer treatment. In this video, I will show you how to wash your human hair wig. You will need shampoo, conditioner, three towels, a clean basin, and a drying rack. So I've set up by placing one of the towels next to my work area and also filled the basin with cool to room temperature water. Now the temperature of the water is very important as it will help protect the hair as well as preserve the color of the wig. This is especially important if you've had a custom colored wig. I'm going to start by placing two capsules of the shampoo into the basin and agitating until it suds. So I'm going to take the wig and turn it inside out, supporting it with an open hand. I'm going to submerge the wig under the water and lift straight up. Now gravity is going to do all the work for you. As the water runs off of the wig, it is going to pull any debris with it. I'm going to repeat this process about five to six times. Now the reason that we wash the wig in this way without swishing or scrubbing is that we want to protect the hair and the cuticle from any damage and then we want to protect the knots that attach the hair to the wig from becoming loose. You may notice that the color of the water may change slightly as you continue to remove debris from the wig. As you finish the dipping process, let the water run off of the wig before placing it on the towel next to you. To remove the shampoo from the wig, I have cleaned out the basin and refilled it with fresh water. I'm going to lift up the wig, once again supporting it with an open hand, and dip the wig five to six times. Conditioning your human hair wig is very important as a wig hair does not receive oils from your scalp like your natural hair does. This will keep your wig looking moisturized and healthy. Once again, I've started with a clean basin of water and I'm going to add two capfuls of conditioner and agitate until well mixed. I'm going to dip the wig approximately five to six times in the same manner as before. Rinsing your human hair wig after conditioning is optional. You want just enough conditioner on your wig that the hair feels moisturized without feeling weighed down. The amount of conditioner needed for this is really dependent on personal use. I recommend by starting by dipping your wig three times and then deciding if you need more or less conditioner left on your wig by your next wash. you may apply some leave-in conditioner to the ends of the hair only before turning the wig right side out again. The preferred method for drying your human hair wig is to place it on the drying rack overnight. With this method, you may set the part in place at this time, but it is not recommended to do any additional detangling or styling until after the wig is completely dry. This method is the most gentle on the wig and also will help to lock in the moisture on the hair. Your other option for drying a human hair wig is to secure it to a head form for either a blowout or to set it while it's wet. Please use extreme caution if you are combing or styling your wig while it is wet as this is the hair's most fragile state. Please watch additional videos on how to secure your wig to a head form and how to properly comb out your wig. You have now completed washing your human hair wig. We at Chrysalis Custom Hair hope that you have a beautiful hair day every day. Thank you for watching.